Would I share this tangy when shown? Open. This is a video generation model of Wired Point One. There are five workflows in total. One is the workflow of Vincent video. Another one is a workflow for image generated video to convert pictures into videos. The third one is video redraw. He will refer to the movement in your video or something. You can directly generate a similar video based on the prompt word. Finally, video editing. There are two workflows. The first one is better. He can use the prompt words to change the colors here. And it can maintain 90% similarity. I won't say it's 100% guaranteed. This is a shortcoming. But this effect is the best. The last one is to use cutouts to replace the content in the video. The advantage is that the characters but the connection between the colors is not perfect. So this is a spare. The effect is just okay. So this spare can be. I will introduce its usage in detail later. Let me briefly introduce him. This is what I use now. And Brain Cloud Online Mirror. Updated to the latest version. Just open it. I'm using an online mirror now. Then there are three categories in total. Image and video. First class, this workflow is placed in the video class. This video is about pictures and text. This is the one here. So if you need to use it, open my mirror. Click this to use it directly online. All are already deployed, ready to use. You say I can use, then you can also use. There are other. For example, image. The latest that is pattern consistency transfer workflow. There is also INVSR's high definition zoom. And flux, all workflows. More practical, I have them all. So everyone can use They're them They're also right voice. There are voice extraction or cultural speech or audio editing or sound cloning. One. Workflow. Anyway, they are more practical. Then don't want to use my online mirror. If you want to deploy locally, you can open my notes. Click on Configure Tutorial. It will jump to this workflow location. Then the same one-to-one -one correspondence with the mirror image. You click on this. Miss Bless. Then the image category. I will move it to the video category later. Then you can view some of the models used in this workflow. Download and install. Installation location, ETC. There are also installed nodes and model downloads. Some local deployments. Tutorial bar. Below is a screenshot of all the workflows and the brief description of how to use them. Finally, there is a download of the workflow. Here. If you don't know how to download, click here to see how to download. Okay, back to our configuration. Let me briefly introduce the effect of Warrant Point 1. For example, when doing stop motion this effect animation, is basically perfect. Can reach commercial level. It is very practical. Okay, let's look at the other. Let this video reprint. His effect is also very perfect. Then what we need to install here is, I will introduce this later. The I will introduce. Let me introduce the first the one first. The first Vincent video is one provided by the official. The workflow is simple. In fact, this model is what I use here. or 1 b the best effect. This is also a text encoding model he provided. Then this one supports Chinese and English. So you can use English or Chinese. Then the other settings are basically... The default is OK. This is the frame number. Total number of frames, for example, here are all the frames. Then this 49 is equal to 3 seconds. Then the generated effect is basically perfect. 
The hint here is that a girl is kissing the camera. Then there is a video below. This is also a choice. A model for converting images to video, 720. You can upload a picture, then set the total number of frames here. 16 frames for 3 seconds is 49 frames. 16 frames per second, the total number of frames is 49 That's frames. Seconds. The effect he produced is very realistic. Basically, there is no trace of AI. Therefore, this image to video conversion is a relatively easy to control video generation method. Then here is a video redrawn. The most basic version provided by the official. This requires installing this node, when video wrapper will watch. But there is a disadvantage that you must use the model provided by this node. Then if the graphics card configuration is relevant, remember to low. refer to the setting to run. Then here is a video reference for him. This video was also generated by me using AI. Then this one merges the two videos into one video. This is just for comparison. If you want to be alone, just put the separate linker and set the format. In this way, it will generate an action similar to the reference video based on the prompt word. So this is perfect. Basically, I can't see any effect of AI. The flavor of AI, I. Okay, this one, yes. What is the name of the video editing method? It's a bit like in the image class. There is a word sampling. This skipping step is equivalent to controlling the similarity with the original video. The higher the value, the higher the similarity with the original video. This is the sampling step below. The higher this value is, he will change. The greater the weight of the modification, for example, I change his clothes to red, then I have set it up just right. Don't need to be too high, because if this is set too high, he will make this person's face look different. So this is a shortcoming of his workflow. He won't stay exactly the same, only change clothes. He actually repainted the entire video, but his effect is perfect. Basically acceptable. So this video editing method is more perfect. Then there is a trick to his use. His two prompt words are basically consistent. It's just that the red and purple in this prompt are different. Everything else is the same, using the difference between the two prompt words. To edit the video. So remember this way he used it. That's it. There are other things that are the same as generating videos. It's sampling, steps, random or something, then resizer and so on. This is the same as before. Then the next one is to use automatic cutout to replace the video content. Edit video. This is a relatively poor effect. Just a spare. The other settings are basically the same as above. It's just that there's a mask underneath. Automatic masking. Use the prompt word to cut out an R. This is about clothes. In this way, he will cut out the clothes from all the images in the video. Finally, we use this. Because it needs to be slightly enlarged when it is buckled. So I added a blurred one. You can understand the noise of external fuzziness. Give sampling. Finally, okay. you can change his dress to white. The tip here says it's a white t-shirt.
but his advantage is that it keeps other parts consistent. The disadvantage is that the edges of the cutout will then perfect wear. So this is just the backup. End of introduction. If you don't want to deploy locally, just click on my endbrain cloud image. Like I am now, directly use this position. I put it in this video category, the first one in it. Search a folder. Click on pictures and videos, text and videos. Video editing. This is what I use now. Online and ready to okay. use. Okay, let's go play.